And I just have the music playing for background noise. Because again, we get kind of stuck in going ba, 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 and we're very methodical. Um, yesterday we did some like fast stuff, slow stuff. I'd like to do that today, but not so much with the legs, but more with the upper body. So I just want to reach side, side, and across. That's it. Turn your shoulders. Abs are in. Turn and reach. Turn and reach. That's it. Now reach up corners. Up and up. Up and up. Nice. Up and across, up and across. Give me four more here. Now back down, parallel. I'm still uh, going to cross midline because I want my abs to wake up as well. Turn, 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 turn. And relax. I just wanted enough to get this going and shoulders moving. Bring your legs together. I know this is going to be the hard part. My hands are cupped. So I'm not flat hand smacking my leg because that doesn't feel good. I don't think very many of us are wearing shorts. It's kind of chilly out here in the Midwest. Chest is up. So if you have red marks on your legs, people won't think you're getting beat, right? Now, I want you to think about what's happening. Think about your chest. When you impact your legs, your arms are strong, so they don't go wah, 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 right? Strong, strong. Now, top of your legs, ready? And again, my hands are cupped. I'm not doing flat hands. Doesn't feel great. So soft landing, right? But it makes that pop sound. Chest is up, abs in. Actually, this feels pretty good on my legs. So we're going to leave your right hand on top, left hand side. It's all about your elbows, not your full arm, right? So you're rotating in the shoulder joint, keeping your elbows tucked in. Now we're going to switch right to the side, left on top. Did you make it without hesitation? So I'm creating a neuro pathway for you, by the way. You're welcome. Ready? Switch hands. Abs are up. Four, three, switch. Now we have polar. 
Keep it. Chest is lifted. Four, three, let's switch sides. So when you hit the leg, squeeze your armpit. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Do it again. Abs are up. Ready, both hands. So, full arms, full arms. Can you go a little bigger? Up, down, up, down, up, down. Free navel in. And again. Pushing on the band. I know. Your arms are going to be like, what? I know. It'll be okay. Chest up. Hands out. So you notice, right, that they're here. You're not up here. Elbows, right, are tucked in. Clap. Clap. My knees are together. I'm squeezing my armpits. I'm, I'm doing a body check, right? Pull your abs in, do your kegel. So instead of clapping right in front of us, reach out and clap. Clap, 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 clap. Now I want you to focus on your biceps and your chest. Out, 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 out. Now bring them back in right in front of you. Squeeze your armpits. So you get a little more rotation in the shoulder joint, right? You can feel things working. Four, three, ready? Reach out and clap. Out, 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 out. Keep it. In, 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 in. Two more. Rest. Could you feel the difference between what I said out engages your chest, and then I switched words and said, in, and it triggered your back. I'm saying these words and having you drill these because I need you to understand that there is a push and a pull to everything we do. And it triggers different muscles to react, right? So if I push and reach, my chest is firing up. When I pull, my back is firing up, right? And because when I pull, my bicep should fire up. When I push, my tricep should fire up. So if we can get where we can feel those muscles just without weight, super huge leap forward in your fitness, right? In your mind-body connection. So we're gonna add the band. I know, you're like going, oh my goodness. So we're gonna wrap it behind the back. I don't want this super tight, by the way. Right? So normally I talk about holding back by the chest. No. So, I'm gonna say I have like a couple inches of tail hanging off, right? And there's not a lot of resistance at this point. My elbows are tucked in, my abs are up, my chest is lifted. 
Feet together. Now push your knees together. Lift. Do your Kegel. Right? Everything's tight. Ready? Out in. Straight out. Straight out. Remember that clapping thing we did? Do it again. Out wide. Out. Out. So you're going to squeeze. Squeeze. And if you can tell, it's not too bad right now. Yeah? Out. Just a couple more. One more. Nice. Now I'm going to slide my hands back both sides. Just a couple inches. Nothing crazy. Right? So the tails are just a little longer. And what I mean by the tail, the piece hanging over. Right? Ready? Do it again. Out. Push. Now you have a little resistance when you come back. Right? Push. Release. Push. Don't fall back. Right? So we're resisting. Then pull back. Push out. Pull back. Push out. Nice. Control the movement. Abs are in. Two more. Now out touch your fingertips. Feel your chest. Squeeze the center of your chest. It just happens when your arms come in. Just a little bit. Do it again. Four. Three. Two. One more. Totally rest. So when we push straight out, you can feel more of this aspect of your chest. When we come in, if you put your fingers just on the right side of your sternum or breastbone and you come across, you feel the contraction. You add resistance and it pops it even more. Why is that important, ladies? It helps keep the girls where they're supposed to stay. A little bit lifted and a little bit more on the inside track than down and around. I'll just leave it at that. You know the deal. I appreciate that uh, people take me for who I am and what I say and not to uh, be offended, right? I just speak the truth. The girls hang and then they go to the side a little bit. If we can work that chest and make it pop up a little bit, first of all, it will help your shoulders. That bra strap cut, OMG, right? All right, so same concept, push pull. Bring it down. And you can do one foot if you'd like or both. Totally up to you. Uh, thumbs are up. So a handshake, clip the band. And again, I have hardly any tail sticking out. Plenty of horns, but no tail. So your choice if you want to have your feet down, up, doesn't matter. I want you to take your hands, slide your thighs to your booty, and release. That's slow. Pull your elbows back, 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 and release. Pull your table up and in. So I'm super methodical about this. Let me get to the side. I can't, these pants won't let me slide. So up top, I'm just pulling, 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 pulling. And you notice my hands never left the side of my legs. Abs are in. Chest is lifted. So when I go back far enough, you can see the window, right, between my elbow and my back. Oh, just a tiny one, doesn't have to be a big one. That's the concept, right? Pull back. And release. Total control right now. These are all slow twitch muscles, by the way. One more. Now we're going to pick up tempo and go. Back, front, back, front, slide the legs, slide the legs. Nice job. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Could you tell the difference between slow and methodical, right? When you got to that back piece, you're like, ugh. When you went quicker, you can feel the whole muscle group go fire up, fire up, fire up, and it gets a little noisy. It's yelling at you a little bit quicker. We don't move fast enough as we age, right? We're afraid to move fast because why? We might fall. We might get hurt. Um, I'm just going to say 
that we had a little incident yesterday and I know nobody likes to fall. I don't like to fall, but it was very graceful, right? It wasn't a fall. It was a fall. Exactly the way you're supposed to fall. If you're going to fall. How about that? I know that sounds kind of weird to say, but it was a it was a good fall versus a bad fall. Bad fall was a couple weeks ago at Feldman's when the guy went from here to hard floor, right? If we can learn to roll to the floor better. You like it. Alright. I'm trying to teach you how to use your body and protect yourself while getting stronger and healthier, right? Alright, so here we go again. Chest is up. No band, I'm just leaving the hair on my legs. Put your abs in. So again, I want to take my shoulder forward and come neutral. Forward, come neutral. Come to the side. Forward, come neutral. Forward, come neutral. So what do you feel? Forward, come neutral. I'm really working hard at not moving my right shoulder. Take it forward, bring it back. So when you take it forward, your abs have to go push. So you're going to feel some belly stuff, right? Push. Can you feel a little back muscle as well? Your obliques? Because we're tur just turning a little bit. One more here. Now we're going to switch sides. Right shoulder pushes. Left remains the same, right? Push, release. Push, release. Push. You'll understand my crazy in a minute. I know. I have a lot of crazy. Push and release. Put your abs in. Give me one more. Nice. And I'm hoping that you have a chair that you can put the band around. Right? Let me, uh, if you need to grab a drink, all that good stuff, because time flies when I'm doing this crazy stuff, right? Something new. So the band is actually around the chair and not me. So, oops, a little low. So I'm kind of locking myself in, and then I'm kind of crawling forward, right? My hands are just interlaced, so I don't have to grip the band so much. And I feel like it's wanting to go, right? I'm resisting the band, right? I'm going to take that. I'm going to use my shoulder next to you so you can see. Forward, release. Forward, release. It's just a slight rotation around our spine. Push, release, push, push. Nice job. Turn. Put your navel into your kegel. Push, release, push. Two more. One more. Now switch sides. Nice. So I'm pushing the other side of my body forward. And interesting enough, I can feel my right obliques. I feel my left inner thigh all of a sudden. Abs are engaged and push, release, push, release, push, release. Nice. Four, three, two, last one. I want you to lean back, rest for a sec. All these muscles down here have to work super hard to not only fight the resistance to fall back in your chair, but adding the rotation. So this is going to probably be easier to scoot your tush forward when you're relaxed back. So if you scoot back, right? So I'm trying to get my tush basically in the center of the chair and come up. Oh, I know. Nice and tall, chest is lifted. So I'm just holding on to the band. If it bothers you, you can slide those underneath your arm, right? I just flipped them underneath my arm. No big deal. Because I'm not extending the arms. But now I'm walking for a little more forward because I have more band I can play with. So, nice flat back. Lean up. Back. Up. Push. Push. So, if the band feels too easy, right? Ooh, chair's coming up. 
So I have to keep my core super tight. Two more. One more. Come up. Right. Right. Push that right side forward. One little more. Extend. Extend. Oh my. Extend. One more. Left side, no arm first. Ready? Here we go. Left. So I'm keeping my arm in. I can feel these, right? If I want a little more, I push. 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 Give me one more. Rest. Let the band go. Move your hands because they've been gripping. Grab a drink real quick. So understanding that if we tie the, or you don't even have to tie, wrap the band around a pole or a sturdy, I'm going to say couch, not a chair because I can pull a chair, or the back of the chair that I'm sitting in, you can do a lot more things. I know you're totally excited about that. All right. So we're going to feed. the uh, band underneath the chair, right? So it, can you see that? It's looped under the chair. So it's a different angle of a pull. So everything we usually do comes from here, unless we're hooking the feet. And even then, it's pretty much the same pull, right? Or push angle. So I'm changing the angle a little bit. We're gonna go straight out but the pull is going to be diagonally back and it's going to feel different, okay? So chest up, my elbows are locked in, armpits are squeezing, I'm going to push forward, pull back, does that feel different? Do it again. Push forward, push forward, can you feel your abs more? Push, feel your shoulders more? Absolutely, just two more, woo, one more. And rest. So when we go out, drop this. When we go out, there is a pull this way, which makes this part of our arm work, right? And also, it's wanting to pull down, so we're having to use our abs to stay up, right? So we have a lot more work going on and a change of work, right? We're going to keep this concept going. So again. The band's around the bottom of the chair, right? And I've got just, my hands are hanging down, I grab it, so my fingers are cupped. Now, go to a flat back. Lock your shoulders in. We're just gonna go push forward, release. Forward, release. Forward, can you feel your chest? Up. So push forward, abs in. And you can feel your upper chest, right? Press. Press. Nice job. Actually, I can feel all of my upper body right now. Pull your abs in. Push. Release. Push. Release. Nice job. My arms are exactly straight, but I can feel everything working. Give me two more. Last one. Rest. Woo wee. Right? And again, all we did was change where the band was. It's stuff we do. Right? We usually have the band around our back and we're pressing forward. Not a big deal. It changes the dynamic of what you're doing. Um, I'm just going to have the band around the front leg of the chair, right? So I can pull it up. But I want my leg in between. I know. How exciting is that? So your twist tie on the stack of bread, right? I'm just twisting the band so I don't, I don't have to think about trying to hold on to it so hard. And I'm going to sit back in the chair. Huh. We're just going to lift and lower. Ready? Here we go. Go lift, lower, lift. I need to make it tighter. Whoop. Lift, lift. So I can feel oh, working upstairs. So I'm not doing a lunge, but I can feel my legs working. Abs. One more. 
and rest. So if we move that band down, I'm not kicking out by the way, but I do need to sit forward a little bit. So you can feel the resistance already, opening and closing the leg, right? And I'm just keeping that band tight to feel a little more uh back here. And you're like going, there's not really resistance pushing. You're right, it's away from us. So let go of the band for a minute and you should feel a little freedom. Does that make sense? Right, because we're so used to being able to free move, it locks that leg in place. I'm just gonna stay over on this side so you can see. Oh, we went top first, my bad. So again, I'm a little more back in the chair and you really have to kind of tighten this one up. Your quads are actually pretty dang uh, strong. Ready, lift and lower. I'm trying to lift, it's a knee lift, that's all it is. Up and down, so up and down, nice, up. And I can feel my hip flexors, I feel my quads and my abs. Because I've added resistance. Four, three, just two more. And rest. And again, I undo it just a little bit, bring it down. I tighten it right back up. Scooch forward. Ready, open, close the gate, ready. Open, close. So what this does for me, it keeps my leg where I want you to keep your leg. So it doesn't allow me to do weird stuff, right? It keeps that leg in track. And you should have a little hamstring curl going on without thinking of it. Open, close, abs are engaged. Nice, give me four more. Four, I actually feel my quad right now. Two, one more, and rest. Nice, so we're gonna get rid of the band. For now. I might use it here and stretch. Let me switch the music. Oh my gosh, my gosh. So I really wanted to kind of work a little differently today. Um, showing the different things you can do with the band and not just get stuck with the push, the pull, that kind of thing. You know, what we do all the time. So, if you have something that's secure, a pole, uh, like a, a railing of some sort that's secure to the wall, or a heavy duty couch that you can sit on the floor and pull and push away, those are fabulous, right? Not that you can't use your body, but sometimes that band gets rolled up and pinches your skin and it's not pleasant. All right. So up front, nice and tall, abs are in. Ah, drop your chin to your chest. Relax your chin down, relax your head. Allow your neck to lengthen. I want you to think about your upper back along either side of your spine. Allow your back to stretch. We're gonna take your chin, keeping it close to your chest, up toward your right shoulder. And again, allowing your head to hang. So you're gonna feel the right side of your neck a little more than the left, down along the right side of your back. And the more you can allow that head to drape forward, the more stretch. Now take that chin down to six o'clock and back up toward your left shoulder. And again, allow your head to drape forward. Feel the muscles on the left side of your spine. Allow them to stretch. Bring your chin back to six o'clock. 
Release your neck muscles. Now we're going to keep the head hanging and drop down to your forearms on your thighs, allowing your back to relax and you have a nice big curve. Be very gentle with turning your head right and left like you're saying no. We're not in a hurry. A nice and easy roll up one vertebrae at a time. Use your hands on your thighs to help you up. Be slow with this. Turn your head right and left. So when we're forward like that, sometimes our blood pressure gets a little weird, so we need to be slow and methodical coming up. And because we held the stretch for a while, we need to turn the right, head right and left, kind of realign the spine, and let those muscles go, mm, it's okay. All right, I want to clip the fingers of my right hand on the back of the chair, and I want to rotate my body to the left, so I can feel all of this stretch. Now I feel my back working because we're stretching the front. That's the way it works. And I want to take my chin to the left. Now can you take your chin toward your left shoulder? Drop your, drop it forward. And the more you relax, the more it stretches. Bring your chin back up, come back to the front. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Again, we're just doing some things that we haven't done before, and I need to take time to show you. So I'm just clipping my fingers to the back of the chair. I'm gonna turn my left hand. I'm gonna turn all the way to my right. I'm relaxing the shoulder. And I want to keep turning as much as I can to the right. And I'm keeping, I'm holding my legs so they don't come back. They want to come back. Drop that right out of the shoulder. Now take your chin towards your shoulder. And you can feel all kinds of things stretching. Take a breath. Exhale, relax that left shoulder. I'm actually kind of turning and leaning away from that arm as much as I can to stretch. Bring your head back up to neutral. Again, turn back. Release. So if you get like tension headaches or you don't, if you slip kind of funky, right? We do that. This is a great stretch to help stretch all of these muscles out because that's what happens when we sleep. We get all up here and they get super tight and we just have to lengthen them out, right? I, one of the things I, I kind of get a little fascinated with are people's necks. We've all seen the bodybuilders that have absolutely no necks, right? It's like their jaw hits their clavicle. There's nothing in between, and it's because they've built up so much muscle that there's no place to go. We have to be able to lengthen our neck for our spine, first of all, right? Because if your neck is part of your spine, to be able to rotate, right? Drop forward, up, all the way around, right? It's the way we work. Um, because there's an access point up in the skull. Um, the other thing is, we have to be able to look over our shoulder. Why is that important? Driving. I know we have the nice little backup cameras and stuff like that now, but you, sometimes you have to turn your head. It's just one of those weird little things, and we lose that. 
All right, so heel up, chest up, and go forward. Oof. That's all I need. And I can feel the full back of my right leg. I know, you're like, but we didn't work legs. Unofficially, yeah, we did. Officially, no, we didn't. Anytime you have to hold your body in a certain position, like this, and work, right? Everything has to be taught, so we have to stretch it. Now, take those toes, point them. Oh, feel the top of that foot. We like it. Bring it up, so let's switch. Heel out, chest up, and go forward. And again, feel the back of your leg. Okay, I'm Cheryl was super mean to us today. Oh, toe down. Actually, she wasn't super mean. Just, we were working today. And bring it up. We're gonna take the legs out wide. So my hips are here. So I'm like, I'm gonna say 11 and one. I'm not 10 and two, right? I don't need that much stress on that. Right uh, forearm on your thigh, left hand on your left thigh, and look up at the ceiling. So I need you to find your obliques, right? Back here, open up that rib cage. So instead of taking your left hand up, I want you to put your left hand on your lower back. Now take your shoulder to the ceiling, and that right hand naturally just pushes on that inner thigh, and it rotates you a little more. And bring it back center. So.